Chaos Bikes and Beta Motorcycles presents Bike Life, a short film. This is part one, the Slow Wheelie Prologue. Got myself Kaylee Chaos on the 2021 Beta RR 125 Race Edition, and I am practicing my ass off over here. Really working on these slow wheelies, getting comfortable off the back of the bike. That way when you're like in a tricky situation, you're less likely to go down because you're more comfortable just hanging off the ass end. A good example here, that all ends up in your arms and it's real hard with the collarbone. It's getting less scary but it's still scary. I'm planning to do a slow wheelie tutorial video here pretty soon, so if you want that and you want my help, let me know in the comments. Oh, this is awesome right here. Ow! Fuck yeah! That's so much fun. I'm getting pretty comfortable with it now. Just gotta keep at it and I think I'll uh, be able to do it. A lot of you people who shit talk. I'd like to see you come out here and do some slow fucking wheelies. Sick of you fucking shit talking motherfuckers. That wasn't as good there. Just popping up on that clutch and boom. Oh, that's so sick! That's getting me more confident with the power wheelies. Now we're gonna move into part two. This is Mike's off grid machine shop. We out here wilding, y'all. How you going? Getting there? So Mike's bike's not working. Because uh, Careful, the threads of his rocker bolts came out. Now we're doing a bush repair here. This battery's gonna die. So we're drilling out some fresh holes here. We're gonna tap them and then we're gonna put in some heli coils, which is gonna allow the aluminum to be a lot stronger. And hopefully this will never happen again. He's got this nice little trick going on here with a rag and some grease to get all the shavings out of there. Trying to keep stuff as clean as we can where we're at. And as you'll see, where we're at is at camp. Of course, most of this work should be done with the engine out of the bike, but we're working with what we got. Did the first one already, sir? Yeah, it's in the rocker over there, cinder hole. Just, uh, it's for the valve cover. And, and How many do you have? Four or two? Uh, I needed to do three. Uh, the other two holes were these other two over here, and they look like they're fine, the valve cover ones. So I only had three, so I'm already half done. Fancy little technique here. Get some grease on the end of your screwdriver get it in the hole, get all the shavings out. All this footage is gonna be shaky and fucked up because of the mosquitoes. <laughs> well, I say there's things that happen. Yeah, regardless. I'm trying, but man, this weekend the bugs were so bad, there's nothing we could do. Bug spray was not helping. So I got this thing on here. Just thread it in. Too bad I don't have a driver. You didn't come with one? It's a, uh, hook that up to an all 16s Don't do this in your yard type of deal, I guess. Come on, huh? Still too hard to do with your bare fingers. Oh. And I don't have a, a very tiny selection of them.
Someone's got wood. Oh man, these bugs, fuck. <laughs> Are they biting your bum? Yes. They're like the size of Manitoba's national bird. It's kind of crazy. It's hit and miss. Some weeks they're worse than others. Some weeks there's no mosquitoes at all. Let's jump right into part three. Let's ride. We're out here with John, Mike, and Jess. We're dropping into Grizzly, headed north. Actually, I shouldn't say we're with Mike because his bike ended up failing on him before we made it this far. So we started out the ride with Mike, and he ended up having to turn around before we made it here. Which sucks because he was really hoping to get on this trail. It's one of our favorites. After all this work, it seems like he was having issues with his carburetor, so he ended up, while we were out here riding, pulling off his carb, cleaning it up, and uh, that helped a lot. Blowdown. There is a ton of blowdown. You see, I'll show you a bunch of blowdown in this video. It's absolutely insane. Traversing most trails is really different than it was the last couple of years, no question. So many blind corners, so you really can't see like, anything a lot of times. If someone else is coming, you're going to be in real trouble. It's not like you can hear them when your bike's revving either. It's a nasty spot when it's really muddy. Surprisingly, it's not too bad currently. That's always fun, coming up a hill to a nice log. Keep on the power, it's really no problem though. That 125 just is singing. Bike's running pretty good. Seems like some of the issues I was having with my speedometer have been worked out, I guess. I'm thinking it has to do with the amount of moisture that we had because now everything seems to be working just fine. But uh, I talked to the guys at the shop and they said it could be a computer issue. They've had some people bringing it in and it's a sender unit that's causing them some problems. But that would mean it's totally dead and mine's not totally dead. By the way, Gatorade, sponsor me. I'm always drinking the G2 out here. That's the old entrance. Now we're getting into a really nasty descent here. I didn't have the camera on right from the top, but it was super rocky and it's a big ravine and it's just absolutely dirty. And this is a quad trail or possibly even a jeep trail. Oh shit. The camera really doesn't do it justice, but. Wow, this is fucking horrible, this trail. I don't see how you could pass this in a quad or a jeep. This is ridiculous. Fucking ravine on that side. Ravine on that side. Fucking nasty business there. Don't worry about me. Just pick your line. I'm always just trying to get footage. Oh, yeah. Could have kept my feet on the pegs a little better there, but still in control. Holy! Again, the camera never does this shit proper justice. Like, this doesn't look like anything on the camera, but it's actually kind of crazy. Plenty of swamp all over the place, that's for sure. This spot is often one of the worst. It's just brutal all year round. We got like a hundred logs in here because people keep trying to pass and they're all slippery. Oh yeah, and it just reeks. So once you get in it, you smell like it for the rest of the day. But, you know, I went first. So I'm like, oh, I can do this. I've been here before, like a lot. Shouldn't be a problem. And I'm failing my ass off over here. Still made it through. My feet stayed dry, so I think that's a win. And we got John coming in thinking, oh, I'm going to try to go around all these logs. What he doesn't know is there's like literally a hundred logs buried that you can't see. 
Back up a poor Jess is just absolutely getting painted by John here. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Okay, hang on. Let me this find bike's like 320 here. pounds. Okay. So like it's it's basically just the biggest dead weight. It's a super tank, and trying to manhandle it through here is just crazy hard. Especially when you have all the weight of the mud holding it down. And once we get up through here, he's able to get some traction and make her through. Holy fuck! Now I go to give Jess a spot, but she learnt from both our mistakes. Give her, give her, give her, she gets give her, through give her. without issue. Her bike also has lots of traction. You're learning from our mistakes, that's good. Now we were trying to get on Lone Ranger, but we ended up back on this connector trail that goes from like Fisher East all the way up to like the northern end of Peanut Butter Valley and stuff. It's kind of whack how we ended up here. But so we found this nice grassy, flowy single. There's some blow down here, we had to get around it. It was kind of nice, even in cruise through the grassy fields, a little bit of trails. Nothing too crazy. get up through here and this is just some gnar for sure like holy crap it's really not too bad to traverse that's fucking gnarly right there john's got hung up on some of these roots here you can see that this area gets water when it floods out this gets really high water and he gets through there oh now a nasty ditch crossing of course, I'm just going to jump over it, no problem. That's how I suggest you attack that kind of stuff. Get on that back wheel, jump over it, get that front wheel on the dry ground so your bike's not going to sink in. You never want to get your front wheel in there. Holy! Wow! You've had some serious storms It's kind of weird how those three trees are just blown Clearly. down in the same way. If you go left, it's easier. If you want a challenge, go straight. And of course, I'm choosing the challenge. We're going to get this. I love this section right here. With all the rain, though, the water's a little higher than normal. You got this tree down in the way. It's just slime. As if it's my first day riding I'm like a fucking newborn deer here. Go left! Yeah. It is a tough section though, I challenge any of you come through here. It's easier when the water's lower for sure. It's a good time. If you can do it, you're definitely a skilled rider. Wow, that blowdown is fucking you're about to see a whole bunch of blowdown. Look at this one. They had to cut Early, it into little man. pieces to move it. Because it's so big. That big can fucking fall? That's insane. These guys are taking the rocky ass road. I'm taking the nice single track. It's a little easier. Of course, we got some blowdown coming up up here as well. I'm gonna change the course of things just a little bit. Usually, we go left there. When I first got this bike, I really struggled through a lot of this stuff, but now that I'm learning how to ride it better having a lot more fun with it. Things are becoming a lot easier. You alright? John went down here on the other side of this tree. That bike is so cumbersome. I couldn't imagine trying to ride a big, luggy, heavy bike like that through these trails. Oh, he's got her. Oh my god. Okay, let's it was just like around. left and right. We got blow down every which way. Trying to get through here was really tough. Just 
every which way you go there's blow down and it's and it's really 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 wrecking the trails up <coughs> despite people having gone out here and fixed a lot of these trails with a saw there's so much more work that can be done and so many hours necessary to make it completely passable again through the normal means Area 51 log hopper here. Not too bad. These guys sit way too much. I keep trying to tell them you guys gotta stand up. Coming in through here is a super shitty section. As you can see, it's all loose and rooted and there's really just no grip through here. But I really don't struggle through here too much. Got the power in my bike here. Yeah, there you go. Roll back now, give her. Whereas Jess, this bike doesn't have the same amount of power. Ready? One, two, so she's three. really struggling through here. Oh, you're right. Are you good? And so I hopped on her bike, and I was like, oh, "I'll get you through here, no problem." This bike really just doesn't have enough power. I see the trouble to really you get that here. tire yeah. spinning to get up through that stuff easily. Let her cool for a sec. It's a tough section. When I first bought this bike, I was so pissed off. Cause I made it through here a million times, but I could not do it on this bike. Just tooling around on the way back to camp. The footage is a little shaky here, which is unusual. I think my camera mount came loose. It has since been reaffixed with uh, new tape. And just before dark, we made it out. A fantastic ride as always. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna show you how to fix a dented and deformed rim. I got lots more fast paced riding and adventure content coming for you soon. I'm backlogged about two weeks. I got a ton of content for y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Chaos Dubs out.